This is Thesia at Bella's Family Farm, and I'm not on the I'm not on the farm. Last week, I was suddenly reminded that it's my parents' 60th anniversary coming up. And on the lark, Kenzie and I decided to fly over here to Jacksonville, Florida. My sister has flown in from the Dallas area, and we're down here. And I love this beach. This is a beautiful beach. So we're here at sunset because apparently there's supposed to be some turtles. There's a place up here that's supposed to be blocked off so that as the turtles hatch, we can watch them uh, get to the ocean. So we're hoping to catch that tonight. actually expecting something that went all the way to the water but we're thinking this is a nest I'm out of breath Kenzie and I ran so maybe we might watch a little bit so we can see any movement of any turtles coming out and going for the ocean I hope we catch something like that that'd be so cool to see that it helps if you get in front of the nest and you can read the sign Yes, this is definitely a sea turtle nest. This is cool. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Trying to video a crab. And I dropped the shoes and the wave came in. Did you find it? Oh, there he is. Can you take a picture? Yep, just a minute. All right, it's the next day. We were getting eaten up by mosquitoes. We didn't see any uh, activity going on with the with the nest, and so we just went on home. It was nice to get out on the beach for the night, though. Now we're down here. It used to be called I can't remember what it's called, but it's a it's a seafood restaurant that we've been here before, and we're about to meet my sister here, and we're going to have a, a nice lunch together, and I'm looking forward to it. I had to take Kenzie shopping, so she had to go. We had to go to one of those like seashell places and stuff. So. We've already been there for the morning too, and we're gonna go see what we can see around here. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. This has been a really disjointed uh, video, and I'm probably gonna have to do some editing to make it even a little bit less disjointed. We'll have to see how how that goes. Let me see if I can get a better light here. That might be better. No, there's a glare. I'm trying to learn to figure out the glare part of it. Oh, so we get to see my, my bed I haven't made. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so let me think. It's been a mess. Okay, we had a wonderful time. I'm doing this on my iPhone, so I'm learning here. Um, we had a wonderful time with mom and dad. Um, they actually got along on the on their anniversary day. My brother uh, took us out to dinner in a, a Japanese food place one night, and the and the lunch that Michelle and I had was really good too. But that place was so packed and so loud, and I should have known better because I've been there before. Very good seafood, but it is just very loud, and you just can't really you can't even communicate so that was that I, I didn't really do any videoing with that too and it's one of the things when you're with other people you try to respect the whether they want to be on camera or not or or whatever so even on mom uh on saturday uh we went to a place called magiano's and they served it to us family style and stuff and it was very nice and and uh mom and mom and dad were just really they were very sweet through this whole thing they were very touched that uh that we had come out to visit them on their 60th anniversary. And I'm trying to get it where I don't have glare on my glasses and not show my bed. You're just gonna say, my bed's dirty, sorry guys. Um, it's, we got in yesterday, oh my gosh, I guess they cracked down on masks and other mandates. So it was interesting because I we knew we, was got, we were going to have to wear a mask on the way to Florida and we did in the airplane and stuff and I was able to get my act together to do that but on the way back they were like pounding it into us and it was weird so I'm glad to be home <laughs> I'm really glad to be home I enjoyed visiting with I, I we had a wonderful visit it's nice to visit with my sister and uh, my brother and I got to know my sister-in-law she's delightful and it was you know, when they live that far away and you got so much going on, you don't get to visit. But the last night that we were there, we all got the three of us, my sister and, and my sister-in-law and I got to sit down and we just talked and had a wonderful time. In fact, we stayed up too late. I got like four hours of sleep and then trying to travel yesterday. 
um, now I'm home and just looking like I've got a few things. Of course, Kenzie's got right in the middle of all kinds of softball practices and stuff. I've got another batch of chicks that are go. They're supposed to ship on Wednesday, and uh, I thought I was taking those turkeys to process on Wednesday, and then I was trying to decide: do they are they big enough? Can they are they? Uh, can we wait another week? Well, I just got off the phone with that lady and she's not doing anything next week. And I'm seeing signs where these chickens, these turkeys, I mean, the tur bigger turkey, per turkey poults are starting to bite. There's several males in there and they're starting to fight and stuff. And so it was like, yeah. So she can't do them next week. If she wasn't going to do them Wednesday, they're doing them Tuesday this week. So that means tonight after I get home from the softball game and it'll be dark, I'm going to be out catching um, seven turkeys and, and then I've got to try to find one drake that... I can't that his tail never got curly and so I didn't catch him last time to have him uh, process but I've got too many drakes and so I've got to um, get find him or at least one other drake I need I need to get my drake duck population back in balance so, so I need to get that one out of there and like I said, I know it's just joined it, but I was looking at my little ducklings this morning and they are really doing well with the bigger ones. And I'm glad to keep an eye on them, see which, which one of them are drakes. But they're young enough now, it's not an issue yet, I don't believe. And I am glad to keep an eye on them. But they, look, they seem to be integrating pretty good and I'm grateful for that. So, tomorrow morning I'm going to be going to Kansas again and get my turkey poults done. But tonight I've got to catch the birds and get them out of there and uh, get that taken care of. And... and in a few days i've got something else coming up i'm telling you i'm busy i may be old and i may not have a job but i stay really busy so i'm going to close this out i'm really sorry it was so disjointed i'm sorry about all the quality of everything but i'm home i'm going to get back into my rhythm my rhythm of the best of my ability and we'll see what we can get done so you know what guys i don't expect you to run around all over god's green earth like i've been doing and you know softball games and and processors and running to Florida and stuff like that. Uh, but I do want you to get off the couch. I do. I want you to find something that will catch your interest and get you off the couch and have you be happy and live until you die, guys. God bless. I'll see you next time.